Hmm. Okay. Hello, everyone. Just gonna uh, give it a little second to start. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'm five minutes late. Um, I literally just came home running, and um, and um, anyway, it has been a crazy day. But so anyway, just want to start sharing with you. And um, so you know what? Before we start, um. Why don't I just show you a little bit of what the um, new holiday, no, not holiday, new occasions catalog that is coming up. Because I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be out uh, soon and I know I will not be able to show you. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Um, so why don't we just go over a few of the items that I have been, um, getting for the pre-order so just give me a second and i'll show you what i've gotten um because again i don't think i will be able to share it with you within the next week so just give me a second bear, bear with me and um i think this is it so that way you can see what to expect from me in the next few um in the next few um, days. So I'll just share a little bit, not a lot. But anyway, so we are gonna start. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, so anyway, so we're going to be having also the celebration. And, um, and so that's coming up also. But anyway, this is one of the sets that I got out of the new holiday catalog, because I think it will be really cute to color these ones with the blends and you know me i love all the cartoonish critters and i feel like this one will be great and you know what i was also thinking you know that we have that paper that is called um uh picky pattern paper and it has all the critters i think this one will go really nice with that paper so definitely that was one of my um on my items the other one is this and this one, it's it's great. I felt like it was good for like uh, weddings or birthdays, you know. So, oh, here you go. So this is cake soiree, and this one has a really nice design series paper, which of course I don't know what I did with it. I I just made a. Uh, I've been working on some um, swaps, and so I know I used that paper, and now I don't know what I did with that paper. So. Anyway, but you will see it. It has uh, one of the cool things about that paper is that oh here it is is that every page has some sort of foil, um, and you know me, I love I love um, shining things, right? So so this for sure was one of my items, and so everything has foil paper, and every single page was great, and so. Um, I'll be releasing a video later on about that um, that card that I made for the for the swap, and then another paper that is also awesome is this one for the Valentine's. Well, it, it's out of the suite for Valentine's, and what is this? Painted with love, and the same thing applies with this one. Every single page, which was a nice surprise, I did not expect that every single one, but every single one has some sort of foil in it and so I thought that it was great so I also used that one for my swaps and so uh, you'll soon be seeing um, a, a what is it uh, a video using those two papers because of course I had to have it now this is the coordinating um, what is this frame list the sweet cake and this one goes with this um, with this set so I felt like this was great. I've seen some samples already with it, and so it looks gorgeous. So definitely was on my list. Um, the next one, um, let me just see what is that I have here. Of course, I was going to have that one because um, I have a little boy, and so I figured that I would be using those a lot. Um, but it's really cute, so I'm doing that one. And that one has a coordinating... Um, frame list too and then i've got this one which coordinates really nice with another design series paper hello joyce 
And so we'll see what 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 happens with this one. I was not so com uh, convinced. I don't know about those two. Like it is a bow, but I'm not really sure I like it. So we'll see what happens. But I definitely like the sentiments. I like the fun, so I thought it would be great for birthday cards too. And I like that you can do candles and that you can do these, I think it's like poppers or something. I don't know what you, what you call those things. But you can make those things that you blow out and, and kind of move. So I thought that, okay, this will be great to do it. So anyway. Um, and then out of, um, oh, and let me show you this one that I thought it was going to be great for like um, Easter. I like this one a lot. And this one also has a coordinating framelit. But look at this cross. I mean, don't you think this will be really great for the um, Easter time? I think like, it will be great. So, it doesn't say, I don't think it says anything about Easter, but I feel like this will be perfect. So, let me just put this. Um, then what else did I buy? Um, let me just show. And then I got a few of the um, celebration. And of course I got the pandas, which, oh, I don't know if you have seen them. They're going crazy on Pinterest. This is by far my favorite. And I know I will be using a lot, a lot of this guy. So anyway, so these were the ones from Celebration that I got. And this one got a coordinating friendly too. So I thought it was great. Celebrate you thing with. So, and then um, another one of those from celebration is this one which I think that it has a lot of of sayings one says best and then one says happy and it has a lot of things sending my very best I love you I love having a whatever um, you are the wishes so I think it's great you can coordinate those so I figure I will be using a lot of it so we'll see so anyway I want to overwhelm you with more of that um i think like we should get started with the car for tonight and um let me just get my glue because i have to move everything from one room to another let me just put all my glue here and there i'll probably use this ones too my scissors sorry guys i just had everything on the back um because i was just moving from one room to another so i need to make sure i have all of these things ready so yeah so we'll see what happens right like you got the pandas i know those pandas are really cute <laughs> um so all right so the first card and you know usually they kind of coordinate my, my card so i have two cards that are very similar and so we'll see how how this goes um, so this is Whisper White and it is five and a half by eight and a half and I apologize for the lighting. I am uh, on my room and there's a lot of shadows today. So anyway, so this is that and then I have a piece of basic black and this one is um, four by five and one quarter. And I have a piece of this design series paper which I think is a Be Mary. Is that right? No, that's not right. Merry Little Christmas, which is the one that is all green, black, and white. Um, the old olive, I should say. So, anyway. So, I still have a lot of that paper. And so, I figured let's just go ahead and, do, and use it. And this one is 3 by 3 quarters by 5. I've also already die cut these um, um, circle out of the, what is this, the, the stitch shapes. And so, this one will go here. Already, I could also, this little, I don't know, lips, if you will. And this one is out of the pine, um, let me show you to you. The pine, uh, pretty pine stimulus, which is this one. This one is not a new one, I believe it has been, um, it was released last year. So, and believe it or not, this is the first time I'm using it. So, I I cut those two. And, of course, we're going to be using a reindeer in silver foil. And I already that could also the bow, which it will go there. And that one is out of the Santa's Slate Framelits. Let me see. Yeah, which is this one. 
So those are the ones that I am using today. Um, another thing is I'm using the... Um, I think this has been really my favorite for Christmas because of the fun. So I'm using the Mary's Christmas Wishes out of the Watercolor Christmas. And this one is also retiring at the end of December. So hmm. I thought it will stay because the font is gorgeous, you know. So, But anyway, there's a lot of things retiring at the end of December that I just cannot believe. Um, like that quilt for Christmas. Oh my goodness. I love that um, sweet and um, it didn't make it. I thought it would because I think it's very versatile and you can use it on on all uh, seasons but didn't make it let me just make sure that it is straight that way oh i guess it didn't matter on this because i can move it so anyhow so let's just put it here i know the font is gorgeous don't you think lucy that's one of my favorites so let's just see if this okay perfect um, so, let's just see, and as usual, I just have the idea, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, you know what, and I'm going to be also stamping the bow, and I already die cut it. Usually, um, you stamp and then die cut, but for um, purposes of this um, Facebook Live, I felt like it's easier for me to die cut it and then stamp it, especially if, especially if, um, if it is, um, polymer, photopolymer. I think I can see it. Oh, there you go, sir. <laughs> right? They didn't ask us what to retire. You're right, Lucy. <laughs> At least they didn't ask me. <laughs> um, let me see. I know I have my hmm, the mini dimensionals, maybe. Well, I don't think I have them. How about that? Let's end up all with. Okay, maybe they stay on the other room. Okay, so I'll use something else. I'll use a glue dot. <clears throat> so, what was I doing here? Let's just see. So let's just fold this one in half. Oh, yeah. All my paper just pulled down. Why is that too? Um. So let's just glue this one. Um. And as usual, I love the fast views. And I think there was something wrong with the fast views because it was only those rolls. And then after that, I was okay, you know, all my, oh, hold on. What is this? Hold on, hold on. Let me just see. What is this size? Oh, you know what? This is larger. Let me just uh, cut this one. Hold on. Hold on for a second. All right. Oh, what did I do here? Okay. Yeah. This should be right now. Okay, then I'm going to be using these here. <clears throat> and, um, you know what? In the past, I don't really like black for Christmas, but I don't know. This year I was... I think I liked it for this year. I don't know what it was. In the previous years, I usually don't use black for Christmas. I don't know what it is. I usually go with the regular colors. But this year, I don't know what it was. I felt like it was nice. So, um, for these, I'm going to be using the... Um, what is this? The fine... Tip glue pen. Okay. And I will just glue like the first, you know. Okay. And I always get quiet here because it's harder to concentrate when you're gluing this. 
So let's just hold it for a second. I know I had another one, so what happened to the other one? Huh, what did I do with the other one? I know I had another one. Hmm. Let me see, I know I have more here than I like that would. I always lose things when I am doing the... So maybe I did this one like so. So the same thing. Let's just do the same thing here. And I'm gonna just hold it for a second here. Usually I have to hold it so that it um, stays put. I know, I know. I hope they do the, the fast views um, offer again. Cause I really like the fast views. Although I did just talk up a little bit on that um, free shipping one day, you know, on the one day for free shipping. I thought that at least I will get some adhesive during that promotion. So, but yeah, I hope they had that uh, promotion back because it was a really good deal, right? So, let's just take those out. And I'm going to be putting this here. I'm going to glue this one. And I'm trying to see if I have a, a red um, Sharpie here. I know I had it in my room. I just haven't been going back and forth all this time. So I think I'm going to put it like so. And just give me one second here. Well, I get the, um, I don't have my sharpie here, but I'll use the blends and I'll color some of these. Huh. It is a mess, guys, here. It is a mess. I've been working on swaps and so I have everything in multiple rooms and so. It's not funny. I'm not going to lie. I don't find anything at this point. Um, so anyway, so as you can see, I am coloring my rhinestones with the blends, which I think is great. Um, you can also use Sharpies, but I mean, now you have the option to color um, the rhinestones on any of the stamping of colors. Is that not great? And I'm just going to use this one for right now since... I don't know what I did with my uh, pierce, piercing. And so this one will go here and I'll put one dimensional here. Because this will go like so. And I will put some fast fuse in his head. Just to secure it a little bit there. Let me just see. I probably can put. Hmm. I probably need to put one more here. So let's just cut here a little piece of this. Okay. And so here is the first card. So really simple. And I feel like you can do multiples of these. And you know what? This one is also missing one rice stone. And is bow. Here we go. So what do you think? Do you like it? So this is one. The second option is using almost the same things. Um, let's just do, let's just rank the car here. So it's almost the same, but, um, this time I am using a basic black 
And this one, we're going to fold it in half again. And it's five and a half and eight and a half folded in half. And um, I have this piece that is exactly the same. So this one is four and one quarter by five and a half. So let's just glue that one. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this one so this. this goes. And so there shouldn't be anything there. Then I'm gonna be stamping again in black. Um, this, um, like right in the middle. All right. Um, and this one will go. And this one is Whisper White, and I believe this one is four by five and one quarter, because this one will go inside. Since it is black, you definitely need to have something inside, unless you're going to be writing with like a gold pen or something, you know? So, let me just... So, this will go inside. Then we're going to be putting... This one will go here. And what I'm going to be doing here is, where's my punch? Hmm, what do I do with a punch? Give me a second. I had a punch here. Here. I'm going to be doing a circle here. And I'm using the two and one quarter. And so it will go, probably one is somewhere here, because this one will go here. Okay. Yes, so probably somewhere there. Okay, and so I'm gonna be putting this one here. Ooh, and you know what? Now that I am doing this, hmm, it probably would be nice if we put some of the washi tape. Let's just do that, I was just thinking, just thought about it. Just a second. That was not part of the plan, but it might be nice to have a little border, don't you think? If I can find where... Hmm. Surely it's somewhere here. Oh my goodness, I cannot... F oh, here, I'm like, I cannot find it. Like, this is insane, crazy. Alright, so let's just do that. So I'm gonna put it right at the edge. Can you see it? Probably not. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is not right. Okay, here we go. We're gonna cut a little bit. So it has a little bit of that edge. And so let's do the other side too. I like these washi tape. Well, what? And it's also retiring. Everything I like is retiring. That's insane. Anyhow. Um... I've seen the new holiday um, occasions catalog and it looks awesome. So, so I'm not complaining too much because I know I will be in love with all the new products too. So, <laughs> okay. So this one will go here. So now we can. Um, I'm gonna glue those here, and see so this one will go right here. What do you think, huh? Like somewhere here. Now, on this one, I'm going to be putting these, um, oh, what fun. And this one is out of the, what is this set? The one that was uh, last year for tax, the oh, what fun stamp set. 
or yeah, and I'm gonna be using <laughs> yes, um, this one. I know, right? Let's just you know me, you know me by now. <laughs> now this one, I probably will put it in red because everything looks too dark. So let's just add that saying and. And I was watching another demonstrator, and let's see if this is true. But I was watching another demonstrator who said that if you use a pink, which that's the first time I've ever heard, if you use a pink and then you put your red, it doesn't stain that much. Is that true? No clue. Never done it. So let's just try doing it, okay? But yeah, that was something that I just learned this week uh, from a fellow demonstrator who mentioned it at, and I was like, oh my goodness, that's just so clever. I think it's true. It's not that red. Hmm, okay. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And um, you could tell the difference on this one, see? Anyway, this one is already stained, so... I don't think at this point it matters if I put the the pink. Yeah, I don't know who it was, to be honest. I just saw it literally this week. I, I don't remember who it was, but I thought it was the, the, the smartest thing I've, I've heard. I'm like, okay, okay, we'll give it a try and see if that happens. But it seems like it's working. <laughs> so, okay, so let's put this one with a glue dot. So let's uh, put one of the glue dots here, and of course we want to put it in the reindeer, and then we'll add um, one of these guys, um, the rhinestone here. Oh. See, you probably use the pink and see if that works also with the um, with the eggplant. You might be right. I don't know if it was Dina, but you might be you might be right because um, I remember seeing her this week. So maybe it was her. Um, but yeah, she she shared that, and I was like, oh wow, let's just try that out. You know, because I've never I've never heard of that. I've never done it. And so I think I want to put this one, but yeah, I think you might be right, Lynn. Okay. So let's just put this one here. And you know what? I probably, what do you think? I'm not so sure just yet. I'll put this one here. Yeah, I think it will be nice if I put it right there. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so let's just glue everything at this point. So let's just see this. Okay, so this will go here. And we'll put, um, I'm gonna put him up here so that this one fits here. Okay, so now I'm gonna be putting it like so, yes. And I'm not going to raise this one. I'm just going to go ahead and, and glue this one. That way it has a little bit more of color. Because I think this one was too too dark, you know. And it's for Christmas. So let's just use some dimensional. So I need one here and one here. And maybe one for 
its head. I don't think I can put this on its legs. Okay. And so let's just see. All right. So this is it. How about, how about that? What do you think? Hmm. Of course, this one's full of Okay. So here it is. I really like how that um, washi tape turned out on this card. Hmm. Thank you, Linda. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, I'm glad you're liking it. So, these are the two cards. Again, I usually don't do so much of the black, but I think this one looked really nice. So, um, thank you, Becky. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> and I think these are really quick and easy. Seriously. I think that um, if you're still not done with your Christmas cards, um, these are super quick and easy. Um... To make that we I mean you saw it um what time is it yeah it's seven thirty so clearly yeah clearly you can do a lot of these <laughs> and so anyhow so this is it for today yeah go ahead and case them yeah 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 that's why I'm sharing this so you all can um have more ideas to case um I feel like we should be sharing um, for everyone to copy everything, so absolutely. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna try to uh, catch up on all the um, on all my Facebook videos. I think I'm behind on some, but anyway, I will be sending cards to. Um, I'll do some sort of a what is this, like a raffle where I do where I send the cards. If um to whoever that shared this video or left me a comment. So anyway, so thank you so much. I'm glad you're liking it. And um for the next oh by the way, the next two weeks I'm gonna be out in Mexico. I'm not gonna like I'm gonna try to do still the Facebook live, but um I mean last week I tried and it was a disaster. The traffic was horrible. So I'm not so sure if I can really commit to the next two weeks, but I'm gonna try. If I cannot, um, I'll I leave a comment or something. It's just too too hectic. the The city has grown so much. They're doing so many um, things on the the streets that it's just impossible to arrive on time. So yeah, so I'm going to Mexico. Um, so anyway, so I'll try to make it. But if I cannot, please um, make sure in January I'll be back in the U.S. and I'll be doing all my Facebook lives like every Thursday at seven p.m. But anyway, just want to make sure that you knew that maybe the next two weeks might be a little bit crazy. So if I don't talk to you, Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy Holidays and um, hope you had a, a blessed season with all your family and friends and, and all your loved ones. So yeah, Amy, yeah, they're really easy. Again, um, these are super easy so you can make multiples in case you're not done with all your Christmas cards and... Um, and also, you can use all your design series paper, you know, so, um, like I said, one of my goals this year is try to use as much as I can, and, um, oh, one thing that I did is for my, for my, um, craft fairs, I actually use a lot of my retired paper, so definitely look and see what you have and make them, I mean, you can change whatever you have already on hand, so, anyway, so that's, that's all for now, and happy holidays, and um, I'll try to, like I said, I'll try to log in um, and do the Facebook Lives during the next two weeks. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.